So now we can add the entity reference field to our review. I'm going to click on structure, content types, and then review. If you don't see review here, you may need to refresh your page to get the administration menu cached menu up here refreshed. Okay, so we want to go to manage fields and we need to add a new field. As the label, we'll put product reference. Under field type, we'll put entity reference. We'll make it a select list and then click save. This will give us some additional options to narrow down the types of entities that get referenced here. Under target type, we want node selected. You can see that the other options don't really make sense in this context. We only have one option for mode. And under target bundles, we're going to select product. Under sort, let's make this sorted alphabetically. So we'll select a property of the base table of the entity. And then sort property, we'll select title. We'll leave the sort direction at ascending to go from A to Z and click save field settings. Now we have a few more settings to fill out. These are specific to this particular instance of the field. We'll leave the label as is. Under help text, let's add what product this review relates to. For the default value, we'll leave empty. We don't want to assume that this is going to be about any particular product. We want to leave the number of values to one because we can only review one product at a time. Again, target type, we're going to leave at node. And the entity selection, again, will be product, sorted by title ascending. Now, just in case you didn't catch it, the reason why we have to set this twice is because there are the defaults for the field that can be potentially reused for multiple other content types. And then there's the settings for this particular instance of the field. And so the settings look very similar, but we can change them individually for each content type. The first time that we're using this field is now, so we have to set both sets of settings at the same time. We're done with this, so I'll click Save Settings.